this video, we're gonna head down to New Zealand with Lethan Valley Hunts and Rach. Now we're gonna be hunting red stag down there, and when you're hunting with Rach, you're just never sure what's all gonna happen. So let's just get rolling right into it because we have a great episode for you. It's the first morning out. We're gonna go ahead out and we're gonna do some spotting. One of the big things about hunting big game, it doesn't matter where you're at, if you have the option of hills and mountains, take that opportunity, get up to a high vantage point and glass the area and try to see what you're looking for. Look to see if you can find those stags, which we did. We saw three really nice red stags, but they were pretty far out there. As we sat there and continued to watch them, we realized that there was another nice stag, but he was a bit closer to us. He seemed to be walking his way, getting closer, and we thought at this point, this could happen. We better get ready, we better get set up. As he got a little closer, he slowed down, he got a little nervous. It was like, just like any of the other animals do. He knew something wasn't quite right, and he turned around. At that point, we decided to go ahead, regroup, figure out what our next step is, and whether we should try to consider to pursue him, or maybe find a different spot to go. Maybe so we'll probably we'll just wait and see. Yeah, he's not boogered. He's not boogered yeah. at all, so we can come back and get closer to him. Yeah. He's pretty, he's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I like them crowns up on top. Yeah. He's pretty cool. Sweet. This one. Let's go see what happens Look. next. So Rachel figured out, a plan of attack. So what we did was we, we got all of our stuff together. We slowly started hiking towards this little patch of timber where Rachel was thinking that maybe that stag that was walking towards us earlier, he may have gone towards into that timber. So we decided to go ahead and hike that way. We were on the two track and we found a big wallow. Well, you know what? Red deer, red stag are just like elk. They're gonna wallow and we're down there during their rut. It's a roundabout. I think it's the 10th of April right now. Um, so it's, the roar is tapering off, but there's still some stags going really strong. So, But where we are, we're set up just on the bush edge. There's a nice wee wallow right in front of us. So fingers crossed that they're gonna come in here today some stage. And, and that's exactly what we did. We sat up along the hillside there and just waited and waited. And when you start waiting a little too long and you have Rachel and I, Things just start getting a little goofy. You just don't know what's gonna happen out there. <laughs> Try to be one of the birds. I tell you, when you put it on, put it over your head, but then put it under your head either. But then this kind of rides like this. Okay. And then your face is covered, but you can still see. <laughs> see, then just pull that, pull the back part down. So if it's good out there, you go. There you go. Now watch your hand. Look at that. Now she looks, now she's like a professional. So after a little bit of laughter, quietly, we actually, we heard some noises and we're like, okay, that could be the stag. And we sat there and we waited. And as we're sitting there, you could definitely hear a red stag coming up a trail and he came straight up. And sure enough, it was the same stag that we had seen earlier that morning that was coming towards us earlier. And then as he comes up, all of a sudden it was like, he just knew something was wrong. Again, he thought he had us twice in one morning.
you got to grab You got to grab the shotgun. Because it's cold. Anyone here? As soon as my arrow hit him, he spun around and ran back the trail that he came in on. We were all so excited. I mean, there was like celebrations, we're excited. And then we have to sit and wait. Cause I mean, it looked like a good shot, but we're gonna sit and wait and give him some time. So we got up, we started following the blood trail and it had really good blood. And it wasn't that much longer until we found that stag laying up on the hillside, pretty close to where we saw him originally that morning. Oh my gosh, this is our first morning out here at Leafen Valley in New Zealand. And yeah, that, that was just such blood. a cool hunt. Yeah. It was just such a cool yeah, hunt. It was, it was, you know, I mean, so cool. first morning out. I mean, well, and I, we think this is the same one that we saw early this morning, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, that was, just, uh, he is he's beautiful. He's got faces like a moose. <laughs> yeah. At, really? He's just, yeah. I mean, the crowns though, even. He is Good just, mess. he is just beautiful. I can't believe this. This is a, uh, what an adrenaline rush, you know? Even, I mean, yesterday we've been in an airplane for 30 something hours and today I'm standing here in this beautiful <laughs> countryside behind me uh, with, a, with a beautiful red stag. Do we get to have some of this for dinner then? Yeah. Okay, for I'm sure. just making sure. <laughs> Every just day. Just making sure. There's honey. enough for everybody, I think. Yeah. Honey. No, they're beautiful. They taste Thank really you good. Let me hunt first. Yeah. No. Oh, He's awesome. Man. Oh, he is beautiful. You can't top something like, look at that. No, he is beautiful. Once again, Leaf and Valley hunts in New Zealand with Rachel. It's an amazing time. Yes, it's a bucket list. And we have been so blessed. And we call Rachel our family. I mean, it, there's just, you go down there. New Zealand is so immaculate and beautiful and pretty and green and mountains. And you can't even explain it. The words cannot explain to you how beautiful New Zealand is. And this red stag, definitely a bucket list and I will cherish it forever. Thank you, Rachel. Hey, don't forget, if you like this video, this choice hunt, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, do it all so others can enjoy it as well. Have a great one.